In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Today is the 12th of October, so tomorrow is the 13th of October, which is the last apparition of Our Lady Fatima. So we're going to say the prayer that she loves most, which is the Hail Mary. But she loves something even more, the Rosary, because there's 53 Hail Marys. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I'm going to pray the prayer that we love very much, that we all have memorized by now. The prayer of the Holy Spirit. The classical prayer. And it is, come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And then kindle within us the fire of the divine love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. Thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, that instruct the hearts of your faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant it by the same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lady of the Rosary, Saint Joseph, Father and Terry, Saint Ignatius. All God's angels and saints. So here we are again. Guess what I'm going to do? Probably guess. Here we go. What is this? You know by now what this is. This is the rosary. It's Mary's slingshot. As David was able to kill Goliath with a slingshot, so we can kill the ugly Goliaths that surround us with our spiritual slingshot. Here we have the rosary. That's our topic the whole week. And if you've been following me, we've been going through the 15 promises of the rosary that Mary gave to Blessed Alan de la Roche. Blessed Alan de la Roche. And we've gotten through... 12 of the 15 promises. So, let's go through the last promises, which would be 13, 14, and 15. Then we have finished explaining all the promises of Mary, this blessed Ellen de la Roche, and hopefully all of you will be praying the rosary. Hopefully all of you will be propagating the rosary. Hopefully all of you are going to be praying the rosary in your family. Hopefully all of you are going to be apostles of the rosary. So let's go to number 13. And these are the words of Mary that she said to Blessed Ellen to De La Roche, as well as to you and to me. Well, I have obtained from my son that all confreres of the rosary shall have for their brethren in life and death, the saints of heaven. Kind of like that. Really saying is that if we pray the rosary, we're going to have really great friends. And those friends of ours are going to be the saints in heaven. They are going to be St. Dominic and St. Francis and St. Catherine of Siena and Padre Pio and John Bosco, and St. Alphonsus, and St. Peter, and St. Paul, and St. Dominic Savio, St. Maria Goretti, the saints, who even say the angels, and St. Michael the Archangel, and St. Raphael, and St. Gabriel, all those saints in heaven, they're going to be our friends in heaven, but they're going to help us here on earth to make it to heaven. I think that's, that's going to give you people a lot of joy. We are never alone. You know, years ago, there was a Beatles song. The Beatles song. And one of their songs was this. Get a little help from my friends. Well, why don't we baptize the Beatles song and say, get a little help from my friends, the saints in heaven. Amen? No reason why we can't give that positive Catholic interpretation 
get a little help from my friends, our true friends are the saints in heaven. Amen, huh? Oh, say, so number 14, it is, those who re recite my rosary faithfully are all my beloved children, the brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. Wow. Think about who, who you are through baptism. The grace that comes through baptism. You're baptized. You are a son of God the Father or a daughter of God the Father. You are also a brother to Jesus Christ or a sister to Jesus Christ. You are a deep friend to the Holy Spirit. And what about the Trinity? You are a living temple of the Blessed Trinity when you're baptized. So the rosary also, we have a relationship with Mary. Who's Mary? Mary is the mother of God. Mary is the mother of the church. Mary is the mother of each and every one of us. We said the other day, Jesus is the head of the mystical body of the church. We are, we are the members and Mary is the neck. Mary is the neck that connects the head and the body. You have to have a neck. Otherwise, we're going to be, we're going to be a hunchback, like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Huh? We don't want to be a hunchback. We want to have, make sure that we have a neck. So Mary connects us between Jesus and, and us. Mary is the connection. She's like a bridge, like an aqueduct, like a canal, if you like. So that would be number 14. And we've arrived at the 15th promise of the 15 promises that Mary gave to Blessed Ellen de la Roche. And the 15 promises, devotion to my rosary, Our Lady said, is a great sign of predestination. Predestination means this. You are on the highway to heaven. Not the highway to hell. You're on the highway to heaven. And you're moving at a very fast pace. You're moving not 40 or 50 or 60, 65, but you are going like an arrow. You're heading to your destiny. You're heading to your eternal destiny, which is the kingdom of heaven. So my friends, this week has been a good week. Because this week we've been honoring Mary in a very, very special way. Honoring her by the rosary. Tomorrow, the 13th of October, is the last apparition of Our Lady. And it's the apparition in which the children went to Fatima and Our Lady promised a miracle. And it was raining the whole day. And there were about 80,000 people. And she promised a miracle at about 12 noon, and nothing happened. And all of a sudden, a little bit after noon, they looked up the sky, and the sun, after the down point of rain, the sun came out, and it started to twirl around and around and around and around and around and around. It was like a Ferris wheel going around, and then it stopped. Then it whirled around and around and around and around again. It looked like it was catapulting itself to the ground. And then the people fell on their knees and they started to pray. They started to confess their sins. A blind man restored his sight. A man that was crippled started to walk without his cane. Miracles came about through this 13th of October apparition of Mary and the people that were doubting they believed. And the essential message of Mary is that God wants to be loved. God wants to be loved. But he wants to be loved through his heavenly mother. And what does Mary want? Mary wants us to pray the most holy words. So I hope after these five talks that we've given this week on the promises, 
of Our Lady to Blessed Ellen de la Roche that all of you will take praying the rosary seriously. And remember those words of Father Patrick Payton. The family that prays together stays together. And a world in prayer is a world in peace. So share this with your friends, and I will give you my priestly blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.